Bismillah rahman rahim and Assalamu alaikum. This video will tell you about the history of the internet. Today we live in a world where people and their machines work together, regardless of the geographical restrictions. While sitting at our homes, we control our businesses. Sitting on the earth, we control the satellites far off us. This is all because of the development in the communication technology, especially the internet. But this was not always so. Wanna know how this all started? Let's follow the time track from 1957 when it all started. Now let's imagine your life without internet. If we have had Google at that time, how would it look like? It will take 30 days for our search query. In 1957, the remote connection between computers was established. By this connection, developers worked directly for the first time. In 1957, idea of time sharing was proposed to share the processing power. In 1958, the DARPA was established. DARPA is Defense Advanced Research Project Agency. DARPA further developed ARPANET, the Advanced Research Project Agency Network. ARPANET developed IMP, Interface Message Processor. Now, the Network Working Group developed NCP. Network Control Protocol. Then later it is transformed into TCP, which we know by Transmission Control Protocol. Packet switching idea seems to have an idea that wanted to be discovered. The packet switching concept was first invented by Paul Boren in the early 1960s. In 1962, the American Ferric aircraft discovered missiles in Cuba. At the, at the time, there was only centralized architecture, which we know by star topology. So a decentralized network was to be developed. So, so the distributed network is to be used. In 1964, cyclades have fewer nodes, so they tried to interconnect nodes. And the term internet was born at that time. The ARPANET's TCP protocol was to connect computers through gateways. So, the TCP IP protocol was developed to guarantee communication between network and this leads to www, the World Wide Web. In 1964, the RAND Corporation published a report describing a network that divides message into segments and each segment traveling independently. In 1967, Donald Davis named the idea of dividing message as packet switching. ARPANET facilitated the first packet switching between four universities and these universities were UCLA, Stanford Research Institute, UC Santa Barbara and the University of Utah. By this network four computers were connected. In October 1969 first message was sent over ARPANET and that was just login. In 1972 first email program was written by Ray Tomlinson and in 1972 at the rate symbol was introduced. In 1973, 75 percent of all traffic was email. In 1974, the term internet was first used. In 1976, the England's Queen sent her first email to army base. In the same year, Dr. Robert developed Ethernet. And after two years, 1978, first spam was sent. In 1981, Computer Science Network, CSNet, created a 56 kbps network. In 1982, Smiley Culture started. In 1984, Domain Name Service was implemented. First dot com domain was introduced. In 1985, New T1 line was developed. It was basically a fiber optics telephone line capable of carrying large amount of data. In 1989, Tim Berners-Lee coined the term WWW for World Wide Web. 
In 1990, Merit IBM MCI formed ANST T3 lines, which were capable of carrying 45 megabits per second of data. February 28, 1990, ARPANET hardware was removed. In 1991, the National Science Foundation, NSF, established a new network, NREN. In 1992, World Wide Web released by Sir. Pakistan also won the World Cup. <laughs> In 1993, Mosaic was released. The first commercial software was launched that allowed graphical access to users on the internet. It was first internet web browser. In 1994, UK's first cyber cafe was opened. Next year, Amazon.com and eBay.com were launched. They both are largest online retailers. In 1996, Internet Explorer and Netscape Navigator were launched. Internet Explorer was offered as a part of Microsoft Windows. In, 1990, in 1998, Google.com was launched. Google.com offers web searching, cloud computing, and advertisement business. In 2000, there was a dot-com bust. It means largest dot-com domains were registered at that era. In 2001, EasyNet was UK's first company that provided DSL over unbundled local loop. In the same year, wikipedia.org was launched. It is largest online free encyclopedia. In 2002, start of, there was a start of Web 2.0. It is a transformation from static to dynamic web pages and shareable content and networking. In 2004, facebook.com was launched. Next year, in 2005, YouTube.com was launched for video sharing. And then, next year, Twitter.com was launched. In 2007, 1.3 billion people connected over internet. And finally, today they are... And finally, in 2000, uh, today, over 100 million, there are 100 million websites. 74% are on .com domain and 1.5 billion people are online means 1 from 5 people on earth is online and finally their conclusions